The novel coronavirus continues to wreak havoc on healthcare workers and hot spots, but it's also placing a burden on economies in the U.S. and around the world. The question is, how devastating will these effects last once we're on the other side of the curve? Here to discuss this further is political analyst and former investigative journalist Scott Wheeler. Thank you so much for joining us. A uh, pleasure to be with you, Stephanie. In the 1990s, you uncovered China's theft of U.S. national security technology, an issue that's still problematic to this day. Recently, U.S. intelligence officials revealed China underreported the number of coronavirus-related deaths and cases. How will this impact trade and relations between the U.S. and China going forward? Well, China's in a very strong position right now because for the past 25 years, they've been able to buy U.S. technology and also uh, steal it uh, through espionage efforts. And we've caught them a number of times. In fact, we're still arresting people to this day, uh, a Harvard professor recently. Uh, and so China's in a very strong position vis-a-vis uh, -vis militarily. They're, con they're having a huge impact in the South China Sea. And so, and now we know that they control about 90% of our medical supplies. And so they're in a position to also place some blackmail and uh, uh, gives them a strong position in trade. What's going to have to happen when we get past this, uh, and hopefully that will be soon, the president is going to have to deal harshly with China and uh, hopefully rally the rest of the world to also uh, cut down on Chinese imports uh, go going to different places in the world, including the United States, and start to bring them to understand that they, we, the United States is not as weak as they think that we are, and we will uh, not allow them to, uh, to do this again. Uh, that, that is, steal our industrial base and our military technology or medical technology and control those supplies. Mm -hmm. And we know the economic fallout from the coronavirus pandemic has been devastating for so many. How should officials balance between safeguarding the health of others while trying to preserve the economy? Well, that's a very difficult balance. And I think the president was advised by his by medical personnel that he trusts leading into this, leading up to the to the stay in place orders and that sort of thing. I think he was told, look, no, at no time in history have people died in the hospital in the parking lots of hospitals around the country. And this could be have a devastating effect on the United States uh, domestically and internationally to have those camera images uh, running out uh, on the nightly news every night. So I think he erred uh, on the side of caution. But there could have been a balance here. Uh, we could have we could have uh, sequestered high risk populations. We could have let the economy continue to roll and people continue to work. And I think that would have been a much better um, a much better scenario, uh, building hospitals, uh, temporary mobile hospitals, uh, military style around the country. They could roll in to wherever it was needed and and provide uh, the care and uh, to patients and to handle the overflow that way rather than to, to just uh, lock everything down like we've done. Mm -hmm, because we know, of course, uh, in these past few weeks, the unemployment numbers, they've been devastating, especially now the unemployment rate, it went from 3.5% to 4.4%. Now, another big event taking place this year that doesn't have to do with the coronavirus is the 2020 general election. What are the political ramifications for President Trump? Well, we've seen already that the Democrats are willing to do anything uh, to hurt the president, and they're to some degree being very successful. Uh, uh, in fact, I think you could sum it up by uh, the, the way the media has covered it is uh, that Trump is, was a racist for canceling flights from China, and he also has blood on his hands for not doing it sooner. That's kind of the, the approach the Democrats are going to take. They will blame him no matter what he does. They're going to blame him for the bad economy. Uh, that results from this uh, the shutdown, even though they were demanding the shutdown to begin with. President's in an untenable position right now, and it's going to be difficult for him uh, going forward. But uh, I think he's going to make the right decision and reopen the economy by the end of the month, uh, I hope. And I think he will do that. And at that time, 
uh, we'll be in a much better position to deal with the medical side of this catastrophe. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.